Serico, protect what protects you. One channel we got a special show planned for you folks today we are doing something a little bit different uh, but before we get started let's load our lip with a lip nugget the swamp donkey that's right this is a dipping channel what a dipping channel yeah, that's right a dipping channel believe it or not there is a dipping community on YouTube and we are a big part of that here at mud jug portable spittoons so if you're coming across this video because of the title um, that's just a little bit of useless information for you. So we got some of that good old faithful Copenhagen long cut. So we're gonna pack us a dipsky for the lipsky. Now obviously you can tell by the title we are going to be using a special brand new mud jug today. That is the Cerakote Bronze. That's correct. We are proud to uh, present the Cerakote Bronze mud jug to you folks. Now, first of all, I want to mention that Cerakote is not a paint, it's a polymer ceramic coating, okay? Um, a lot of people know about Cerakote because of all the work that Cerakote has done with the gun industry. Almost every gun manufacturer out there is now offering guns with Cerakote, and if they don't specifically offer that, a lot of people are obviously getting their guns coated with Cerakote. So, nonetheless, Cerakote is a product that has created a lot of buzz surrounding its name and its durability and the finish that they offer, etc. So, we wanted to go come come out with a Cerakote mud jug, and so that's what we did. I want to invite everybody to go visit Cerakote.com and check out some of the crazy, amazing uh, badass designs and patterns and colors that they have over there. Um, there's so many different color combinations you can do. A lot of our viewers are gun enthusiasts, so we figured, yeah, well, Cerakote Mud Jug would obviously make sense. If you're not a gun enthusiast, then get off this channel and go vote for Hillary. So, there is a reason why most gun manufacturers are now offering a Cerakote version of their different lines, um, for obvious reasons. The durability, the color options, etc. A little story about how I kind of came across Cerakote. I actually bought a pair of uh, Oakley sunglasses and they have a Cerakote coating on them. As a lot of people know, based on my videos, I'm very uh, hard on things. I'm very hard on my phone, I'm very hard on my mud jugs, and I like to beat up my sunglasses. Not on purpose, but I just do. And Oakley being a, a top-notch brand, I wanted to go with Oakley, but I also wanted to go with something that was durable and would actually protect the finish of the sunglasses. So, I got this Coyote Tan uh, Cerakote version of the uh, Oakley, I believe these are fuel cell. And that's where I first discovered Cerakote and thought, man, this might be something we should do with Mud Jug. And now we're here, here we are making a video on the new bronze Cerakote Mud Jug. Cerakote offers a ton of colors. So what I want you guys to do, do me a favor, go to Cerakote.com and look at all the different varieties of colors that they offer. And leave a comment in this video and let us know if you or what colors you guys would like to see in the Cerakote versions of the Mud Jug. Um, this is the first color we're offering. We're probably going to make some more in the future. We just want to make sure that our customers are getting uh, colors and patterns and designs that they prefer. The feel of these is really crazy. Now this is really a non-textured uh, version of this particular color. Now you can create all kinds of different textures. There's, there's really not a lot of texture in this, but even this jug itself feels very, uh, very gritty and, and um, it almost has a soft feel to it to a certain extent. It doesn't feel like a regular mud jug. This is obviously smooth because it has a clear coat on it and the regular jugs that just come out of the press that don't have anything, they're, you know, they're just regular plastic. They, they're fairly smooth as well. So the, the feel of this is pretty cool too. 
So this particular uh, mud jug is available on our website, mudjug.com. We're using the coupon code BRONZE for 15% off uh, all weekend long. Uh, that will go from May, I gotta look at my calendar, hold on, May the 5th to May the 8th, midnight Pacific Standard Time. So 15% off using the code BRONZE. I do want to mention that we uh, did a video last week, I believe, regarding the Skoll giveaways. If you uh, get a can of Skoll and you get the five-digit code off the side of the can, you go to Skoll.com and you enter that code in, you can win a uh, Blue Mud Jug Roadie. And a lot of people were asking, how many of them are they giving away? Guys, we sold them thousands of them. So there is no shortage, okay? Let me just put it that way. There is no shortage of those. Now we're also doing a Stokers giveaway still with the Stokers, the Sportsman Mud Jug, the Hunter Orange Mud Jug with the logo uh, logos, one on each side. They're giving away 15 of those per week at stokersnuff.com. So we do a segment on this channel called Mail Call. We do a lot of different segments from time to time, but we are going to do Mail Call right now. So we got a little fancy little red box, okay, and in this red box is a special deal now this is from red seal baby yeah red seal people still dip this shit yeah apparently they do red seal and now they have the bigger cans i actually don't mind red seal red seal uh, natty and wet red seal wintergreen is actually pretty good it's hard to find right around here in california though so um and red seal is giving away this fancy authentic american made and proud of it uh weathered baseball cap so if you want to go over to forgot the damn website. What is the website, C1? I think it's Go Red Seal or something. I think it's GoRedSeal.com. I don't know. I'm sure you can Google it. People, there's there's a search engine out there. It's called Google. If you don't know the answer to something, just Google it. You'll be fine. So that's that. We also have us a... We got a flyer in the mail. No, we Didn't we do this uh, last week? No, we didn't do this last week. We got a flyer in the mail. No, it's not even open. From... The Stoker Sportsman giveaway, getaway. Sorry, you can win a chance. You can win a chance with Stokers to get a uh, to go on a trip with Bobby Stoker himself, go hunting, fishing, etc. They're also giving away the mud jug I mentioned earlier, the Hunter Orange Stokers Sportsman's mud jug, I believe they're calling it. And you can get some coupons. Now, again, I mentioned before, Stokers. They actually uh, now are offering cans, instead of these big tubs, they're offering cans nationwide now. If you can't find them in your area, I believe Stokers does have a uh, locator list on their website. But, uh, you know, ask your, ask your uh, local tobacco store to get Stokers in, in the can. They, they shouldn't have a problem getting it. We're going to move on to Troops of the Week. Um, we do Troops of the Week because we support the troops, and you should too. Uh, I have a list here. I have, let's see, one, two, three, four troops of the week. First one is Jackie Dillick, U.S. Army Sergeant in the 8, 842nd Engineering Company. Uh, that was actually a sister. That's a female. That's a sister of a gentleman that we know who comes by the Mud Jug uh, warehouse from time to time. So big shout out to Jackie. Let's see, Master Sergeant Jefferson Davis, a Green Beret with the ODA 574th, was killed in action. U.S. Army Vietnam veteran Glenn Allen Sorensen. And last but not least, Robert Beaver from the Navy fought in Desert Storm and Operation Freedom. And that concludes the Soldiers Troops of the Week. Now, we are working on something special. Memorial Day is coming up this month. We're working on a, on a uh, very good little campaign to give back since it is Memorial Day this month. So we're excited about that. And we'll have details as time goes on of exactly what we are doing. So that's about it for me. Um, you know, this is obviously my dip of choice. Get yourself some Copenhagen Long Cut. It's one of the only few Copenhagen's cans dips in general that are still in the fiberboard can they have snuff in those and i think they put pouches in those but i don't know what the point of that is but nonetheless grab yourself a cerakote bronze mud jug uh use a code bronze for 15 percent off go to cerakote's website let us know in the comments what colors of cerakote mud jugs you would like to see in the future we would appreciate that and uh, i guess i'll leave you with this always be a man and reach for that can because if it ain't dip 
It ain't shit. I'm out.